Hello there, I'm Gavin Greenwood and you're watching my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Unify Switch 8 port 150 watt switch. This thing right here is the latest product in their line of switches. Uh, we went from having tough switches to Unify switches and now we have this Unify switch. So this right here comes with two SFP gigabit uh, fiber bit or fiber ports I'm pretty sure it's either a gigabit or 10 gigabits yeah 10 gigabits total on the on the complete throat or throughput and each of the other Ethernet ports are one gigabit here I'll get you a better view of the box here so you guys can see it's all about it's pretty cool And then the other product that we're doing today is the Air Gateway. And that is this right here, the Air Gateway installer. And there's the back of the link. Let's put this in here. There we go. And then this is the actual product. And I, I drew on that with some Sharpie, so with my initials, so I can keep track of it but basically that's what you're working with that's a micro USB port to be powered off of a uh, cell phone battery backup uh, we're gonna plug this in later so th this is right here we'll do this on the computer later uh, This is rack mountable, which is very cool. It looks like they included it right here. That makes me very excited to use this. across the front we have two SFP ports with plugs in them so there's some nice plugs there to use this isn't actually a button or anything all right so now I have the Unify gateway set up and logged in and we're looking at the dashboard right now so as you can see it's picking up uh, four devices here and go ahead and click into that uh, it's picking up a Unify AP I'm not sure where that one's at I don't know basically it's just finding another Unify AP this that's on the network and I'm just not sure where exactly it's at because I only have one plugged in up there but it's finding this the switch and that's what we're interested in so there we go and you can see you click on it and it gives you all these different options uh, port 1 which is set to 24 volt right now that's how you set that you can go into here and this is where you set 24 volt on or off for the port or if it's uh, 802.11 AF you can use PoE Plus, and this is automatic if it's on PoE Plus, so it'll automatically turn on PoE for you. But if you're on the other stuff, it's just 24 volt passive. And then you can, of course, label your ports or do anything that you want. So let's go in here and look at some other things on here. It looks like they have a map, so you're able to actually drag the switch and the APs exactly where you want them to go in your house so that's something that is very neat you're also able to see all the clients on here and be able to to see different uh, statistics about them like how much they're using and different things if we go to statistics right here this is where it will actually show us 
I'm saying that the most active client is my MacBook because I was up there watching some YouTube and I pulled 90 megabytes since I had this plugged in. So that's pretty good. Let's just do a speed test and see what kind of speeds we get over this. Now the Unify is upstairs and it's aimed up towards the ceiling right now. It's just laying on the floor. And we're getting 104 megabits according to this, but we have a negative 83 noise floor. So, Okay, so here's the speed test right here. Just gonna click on begin test. Here's just some other tabs that are on here. Uh, we got the network tab, use DHCP, all your management and upgrade. You get, you get a debug terminal. So that's nice. a bunch of information so anyway there's an overview of the system it gives you also events too so you're able to to uh, keep a log of everything that you need to